Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday the 9th of May 2014 and this is a follow on to the ongoing saga of Dark Skywatcher and his uh, claimed moon impact uh, video. It's been quite an interesting response to the videos and I will be updating with further information so stay tuned. I uh, just want to look at some of the comments that have been coming in uh, from Dark Skywatcher and my video. Uh, it's interesting that um, he has me blocked on his channel, but uh, you know I have a policy of um, allowing people to comment on my channel as long as they're not being extremely um, abusive with uh, highly offensive words and things like that. I actually tolerate quite a bit of abuse on my channel, um, but I draw the line at personal threats and uh, and continual mindless spamming. But anyway, uh, Dark Sky Watcher has uh, responded, and uh, let's have a look at a couple of his comments. He says here that no one turned you down. I told you that you have the same imagery to work with as everyone else. It's all good. I see you now that your channel sucks so badly that this is all you can do. Also, proves you don't even own a telescope. You are a shill, lol. You guys cry about copyrights constantly, yet all I see is you uploading my material, lol. Good luck with that. Karma comes hard. Okay, well first of all, um, Dark Sky Watcher did say in his live uh, broadcast that uh, the imagery that he sees on his screen is crystal clear and that the imagery that we see is not high resolution because as he put it, he said that he would have to pay you stream $100 a month to broadcast the video feeds in high definition as he sees them. So I had requested his original video and images so that I could carefully analyze the pictures that he had invited um, analysis of. So the images that I'm working with are simply the ones that I've downloaded from YouTube which I would imagine are not full resolution that he's actually seeing through his camera. Now secondly, yes I do own a telescope and uh, I'll upload some images from it later on. Not only that, I'm also a member of my local astronomical society where I'm a very active member. In fact I'm on the committee and I'm very much involved in the uh, two weekly meetings and I often present uh, talks at the at the open public meetings as well. And uh, we have a 14 inch Mead LX200 down there that I have free access to. We also have an 8 inch uh, Mead as well as a 10 inch Dobsonian. Now it's true that I only have a quite a modest small telescope at home, it's the one that I bought when I was a young teenager and I've never really felt the need to upgrade it because I have access to much larger telescopes that don't cost me thousands of dollars to buy. So you know, if I had the money to throw around, yeah maybe I'd go out and buy a big expensive telescope but hey I've got access to a 14 inch Mead so why would I want to do that? Secondly or thirdly, sorry, he says, um, you know, you cry about copyrights constantly. Well, hey, no, I don't actually. All that I um, say is that um, fair use, you know, if you use somebody's video in context of um, review, criticism, uh, commentary, or even parody, then you are legally using videos for. Um, for proper work and that is justified under the D Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Uh, you know, I don't mind if people upload my videos as long as they ask me first and they also put a link back to my channel so that they're not claiming it as their own and also that they're not putting ads against my videos because I do not put ads on my videos. To me, the truth is more important than earning money, but with Dark Sky Watcher it seems that the money is the motivation because he knows full well that shock sells. And if he was doing real astronomy instead of claiming that Saturn had tilted on its side or that he was tracking UFOs which were actually satellites and all this sort of nonsense, he knows that he wouldn't get the views that he's getting. Well that's okay, the views aren't that important to me and neither is money and that is why I don't monetize my videos. 
Remember that this is the same guy that I bailed up after he recorded uh, Earth orbit satellites and claimed in his video that he had tracked UFOs. I positively identified those um, objects as uh, being four geosynchronous satellites and uh, I noticed in his videos that uh, he was suppressing that information even though he had acknowledged that they were in fact satellites and when I bailed him up about it on Facebook um, this was his reply he says I mean come on dude you can't burn people right off the bat with, the, with that you gotta let them take a ride for a little bit and enjoy it it's in the video that they were identified as satellites, so don't worry, lol, no one is duping anyone. You know, this is the sort of person that we're dealing with here. You know, he, he believes in taking his viewers for a ride. Never mind the truth. The truth isn't so important, you know. Obviously, if you take a video and claim that it's UFOs, instead of just saying, oh, well, hey, you know, I filmed some uh, satellites, well, who's going to want to watch that? Okay, now there's one other thing I'd like to show you, finally, is that, um, as I said at the beginning, I encourage uh, discussion on my channel, okay? I very seldom block anyone, there are a few exceptions, and they're very extreme exceptions, and um, now with the new commenting system with YouTube, we've got this uh, review system that they've introduced, and frequently... Uh, comments go into the spam folder that shouldn't really be there and so they have to be reviewed constantly and so here are some comments by Dark Skywatcher so you know you can see that he's commenting on my channel he's not blocked I allow him to comment in fact I believe in right of reply I believe that I'll, if I'm going to make a video about somebody then they should have a right of reply now these comments here have actually gone into the spam folder which means that they're only visible to me they're not visible to the general public and this is something that I always do I just hit this box here which ticks all of them and uh, and then I publish them so here is Dark Sky Watcher saying well uh, WTF kind of movie magic kick are you on anyone who wants to see the video simply needs to click on the actual video and he's put the link there and if I click on the link, um, this is the video that I talked about. And there we go. Stop. Another advertisement. Kaching, kaching. Okay, another advertisement for Dark Sky Watcher. But here is the video that was in question. It's go time, NASA. Will you step up and take the Dark Sky Watcher 74 challenge? This is the video that I showed in my video that uh, was now made private. Now I knew that Dark Sky Watcher would do this because he, he is a liar and this is what he does you know this is the guy that stole images of Saturn from the Singapore Science Centre Observatory and posted them on his own YouTube channel claiming that he took the image himself through his own telescope um, before he even had any imaging equipment as he admitted himself in a subsequent video you know this this guy is a liar and a fraud and this is what he's done he had made the video private as I showed in my video and because of my response video he's now made it public again because that's how he rolls okay so there's that now um, well, I've also commented on that one the only reason this one's in here is because this uh, comment by D5UNCR has ended up in the, in the spam folder but this is what I do whenever I come into my videos and I see that there are comments in the spam folder I hit the big tick and um, then they're published just like that so everyone can see them now I'll stop reviewing and all of those comments are now public now this has popped up again this always happens if I go back in there to review there's nothing there okay so there we have it I will be updating with more videos what I've decided to do is to do a number of short to the point videos instead of one very long uh, complicated and maybe boring video explaining how and why Dark Sky Watcher has actually filmed a bird crossing over between his uh, telescope and the moon. As always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.